What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's Kick here, and I'm bringing you guys a top five. Now, this top five is my top five PlayStation Plus games. I've been wanting to do this for a while, but finally thought, you know what? It's time to do it. I actually did this mainly, mainly because I saw that I hit 30 subscribers the other day, and you know what? I said, why don't I introduce something new? If you guys really like this, please like the video. Like honestly, I don't, I don't really think I say that that much, but you guys, please like the video if you like this video. That sounded weird. And just get into number five, which is Rizzo Gun. Now this game right here, I'm, I have footage in every single one. Very fun. It's basically just a side scroller shooter. You go on like a track and everything. Like it's like regular, like, just spinning around side scroller. It's very fun, very addictive, and you can like have your own customizable ones that you make, or like you can download the customizable ones. Bunch of different game modes. I don't think. I think there might be a multiplayer. I'm not positive. I'm not sure if there's online multiplayer. They added a lot. I haven't tested it all yet. Yet. I got this a while ago, when, like when the PS4 came out and shit. So I don't know. But as you can see, I'm Pac-Man here. There was bosses and shit. But that's number five. I have a lot better ones coming up. And that's number five. Get ready for the next one. Now number four, as you can see here, it is Broforce, and this game actually just became free. Um, I realized that like it just became free; it hasn't been too long. Um, I'm sorry if you can hear me in some of these clips; it's because it's just the game audio, and that's how I record it and shit. But what Broforce is is how my friend described. It. I'm just gonna use this. He said, "This this is the most Merc game I've ever seen," and that that's basically what it is. It's basically just bunch of badass movie characters with bro in their name well, they put bro in their name and it's just that on like freaking Vietnam Japan and they misspell the names on purpose to make it like you know sound stupider and shit it's hilarious there's tons of characters it's destroy everything there's bosses there's tons of levels and I mean I'm on I'm only on 12 right now it, it's a good fun game with your friends, if you guys just want to screw around for the night, I have a bunch of friends over, play multiplayer, or go online, it doesn't matter, but it's just such a fun game, and that's why I had to put it at number four. It beat out Weasel Gun, because Weasel Gun was fun, but it just doesn't have, like, that it factor, in my opinion, and Weasel Gun got five, it's got four, because it's just amazing. So... Ladies and gentlemen, at number three is Super Meat Boy, and this game is basically just just end my life when you play it. It's just really hard. It isn't like Super Mario Bros. 2 or Super Mario Bros. Lost Levels, which it's called in America. Hard. A lot of you probably don't even know what that game is. You probably don't need to, but it's very challenging, and I have actually beat that game. I love platformers, I'm not going to lie, but this game, this game is one of my favorite games, like on the PS4 they have. It's really addictive. It's slippery. I can tell you that. Like, when you play, it's very slippery. By very, I mean, like, really slippery. Especially if you're, like, running and shit. You're basically, like, a wad of meat. And your blood goes everywhere. It's basically blood. And you have to save your girlfriend, Bandage Girl. And it's this guy take, um, took her and everything. And it's just really hard really annoying and really suicidal when you play it and then that's number three finally a number two is rocket league i'm sure some of you saw this coming if if you didn't then i don't know rocket league was free a couple months ago and i think it was august that's when it came out no no it came out before i'm pretty sure it came out then anyways it's soccer with cars that is the best only and, like, insanely well way I can describe it. You jump, hop, rage, as I do. And <laughs> I rage at everything, to be honest. I rage at Call of Duty. I rage at every single thing in the world. And here, this car that has boost jumping abilities, as you saw there. And can go really fast, to be honest. You hit this ball into a goal. There's 1v1, 2v2, 3v3, 4v4, 
special things like snow day when it's the puck and then there's like stuff like experiment uh, I mean um like Rocket League labs when it's uh like experimental levels that they're making. It's just an overall amazing game. And now to number one. Now guys, this is Outlast and Outlast is basically just hell to be honest. What happens is you go to this asylum because you're a reporter and you get a tip, an anonymous tip, saying that there's some creepy shit going on and that they're abusing people and shit, you know, etc, etc. Anyways, that happens, so then you get there and it's locked, so then you have to go in and everything, and what actually happens after that is pure hell. This game is one of my, like, this is, like I said, this is my favorite. Cool. PlayStation Plus game of all time. So, this probably still will be. So, when I first played it, it was like, I played it with my friend at like, from like 10 until like 3 in the morning. And I didn't really like it that much. It's probably because I was with my friend, but later, I don't remember how long, like after, but I played it later, and it was so much better. See, I really, like, fell in love with the game after that. I really loved it, adored it, every single fucking thing, dude. I loved this game. And it scared the shit out of me. I loved it. Like, it just, I love this game. They're actually coming out with a second one. But I'll get to that after. So then they made a DLC for it. I got this game for free. By the way. If you didn't realize that's what PlayStation Plus means. But, and... So when I got that for free, that actually scared the shit out of me. I completely forgot that that was there, like when I was replaying it just for this clip. And I got the DLC. I said that like multiple times, and it was so much better, so much better than the regular game. Like when I say so much, I mean like ten times better in my opinion. I like the regular campaign and like the regular game in general. It was just a really fun game, but after that, like the DLC was a lot, a lot, a lot better. Coming out with a second one soon. There's a lot of leaked clips about it, and images and shit, and it looks awesome in my opinion. This is possibly in my top five for favorite, my favorite video games of all time. So pumped for the second one, and I honestly can't wait. I'll probably make a video about it when it comes out, but if you want more of these top 10s, please tell me, and see you guys.